All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today I want to quickly address something that has been bothering me a little bit and it's potentially something that the Dokkan community as a whole should be very concerned about. Now I'm not telling you guys to freak out or anything like that but what Bandai did this time could be a very bad sign for Dokkan players going forward all right so basically what happened was last night JP hit top grossing for the Fizz Beerus banner which is freaking amazing because I honestly didn't see it coming especially coming off the five-year anniversary where most people probably had depleted all their stone funds for Dokkan but for some reason or somehow they still managed to hit top grossing for the Fizz Beerus banner right after which is amazing and that's great and there were top grossing rewards that were given out but there was one very important thing that was missing from those top grossing rewards that uh, at least raised some alarms for me. And I'm sure you guys can guess what that was. The Dragon Stones, man. I mean, they gave out orbs, they gave out Kai's, they gave out, I think, keys as well. All very useful, very important things for the game. But let's be honest, the only thing or the main thing that anybody looks for when it comes to top grossing rewards is the dragon stones. In fact, a lot of people just call it top grossing stones. They don't even care about the other stuff because we can get orbs for free. We can get Kai's for free. We can get keys for free as well, even though they're a little bit limited, but the stones, the stones are the premium currency of the game, the summoning currency, the most important thing when it comes to Dokkan. And they just straight up did not give any for hitting top grossing for the Fizz Beerus banner. Now to be fair, it was only for the iOS store, not the Android store, I believe. So only one half of the equation, but even so, usually when JP hits top grossing for the iOS store only, they still get 30 stones, right? In fact, my boy Anthony did some research for me and he says that the last time that JP hit top grossing in one store and didn't get any stones for it was all the way back in December of 20. 17. That was over two years ago, guys. It's happened on Global as well, but it's been a couple years as well, just like JP. So I had thought that we had moved on from that. You know, like a long time ago, you know, what we had expected less. Um, it was okay, maybe, if we hit top grossing and only got orbs and Kai's and stuff like that. But these days, like, we expect stones if we hit top grossing, especially considering how much money this game has made for Bandai, right? So. It was just very, very surprising to me that there were no stones. And let me just be clear, this could only just be a one-time thing, right? It might be because they were coming up the five-year anniversary where a lot of stones were given out. So they're like, you know what, this time we don't have to give out any stones. And then for future celebrations or future campaigns, future banners, they'll still give out top grossing stones. So that could be the case. But honestly, that's not even a reasonable explanation because if you go back to the four-year anniversary, right after it ended, they released the Kid Goku banner, right? And JP actually hit top grossing for the Kid Goku banner right after the four year anniversary stuff and 30 stones were still given out for that top grossing. So that's not really even a good excuse, you know what I mean? Since it's been such a long time, since either version didn't get top grossing stones, this could become a trend in the future. You know what I mean? Like Bandai could just feel like it's okay to not give us stones for hitting top grossing for at least regular Dokkan Fest banners, right? Like I'm sure for big celebrations like anniversaries, for download celebrations and stuff like that, they'll still give out stones because they're holidays or special occasions. And I get that, but maybe in the future for just regular Dokkan Fest banners, regular campaigns, they might just stop giving out stones. And that is just not cool, man. That is not cool to me. I don't think it's uh, smart from a business perspective because it's gonna piss off a lot of your player base, but um, that's essentially what I want to talk about in this video, man. I'm just like, how, how could they get away with not giving stones for top grossing? And I know some people in the comments are gonna be like, yo, dude, top grossing stones are not you know, a right, all right? You're, you're, you shouldn't expect them. It should just be a nice bonus, and I get that, but just think about how much money, man, Bandai is making, and I just feel like it's a nice way to give back to the players, a nice way to thank the players, and Akatsuki and Bandai can definitely afford to do that. You know, giving out 30 to 50 stones when they're literally making like half a billion dollars a year or whatever it is, right? So, um, oh, and also, as far as global is concerned, 
we should be very concerned, I think, as global players. As you guys know, I am a global main, and even though I do play the JP side of the game, I play global a lot more. My main focus is on global, and I am super worried as a global main, because if they're willing to do this, right, to the JP side of the game, their main revenue generator, as much as, you know, they make money from global, JP is like many more times that, right? So the focus of Bandai has always been on the JP side of the game, and rightfully so, I get it, because they make a lot more money from JP. But if they're okay with not giving stones the JP for hitting top grossing, then what's gonna happen to Global, man? Like, <laughs> if they're willing to shaft JP like that, then I don't think they'll have any qualms about, you know, doing the exact same thing to Global the next time we hit top grossing for a regular banner, right? So, um, I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to wait until that actually happens. But for now, I'm just a little bit worried, a little bit concerned. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this uh, situation, about this issue. Do you think it's an actual issue? Do you think there's anything to be concerned about? Or do you think it's just gonna be a one-time thing for JP because they were coming off the five-year anniversary where a lot of free-to-play stones were given out, so it's not really a big deal, and they'll still continue to give out stones for future top grossings. I don't really know. Obviously, I have no insider information, but it is something that bothered me a little bit when I saw it, you know? So the next time that we get top grossing on either JP or Global, it's gonna be interesting to see what Bandai actually does with the stones. Actually, you know what? The next time we hit top grossing on both sides will most likely be for the Saiyan Day celebration. So I'm sure we'll get stones for that since it's technically like a holiday, at least for Dragon Ball fans. So I'm sure for that, since it's a big occasion, it's a big celebration, we'll get stones for that. But the next time we have a regular Dokkan Fest banner with no holiday behind it, no special occasion behind it, and we hit top grossing, it's gonna be interesting to see if Bandai will still give us top grossing stones, or are they gonna reserve that for only major celebrations, which would really, really suck. I mean, it's not gonna ruin the game for me, but... <laughs> It is, it's upsetting, man. Like, they can afford to give us top grossing stones for regular banners, too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Of course, I'm on the side of the players. I'm always going to be. So, maybe some of you out there think I'm being unreasonable or unrealistic, and I totally get that, but I still stand by what I say. All right, Bandai can totally afford to give out their players 30 stones for hitting top grossing for a new banner, given how much money they're making from us. So that's essentially all I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. Just wanted to get this off my chest. Once again, let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are. Hopefully there's a Bandai spy out there watching this and will take it into consideration for future top grossing rewards. I sincerely hope that this is just a one-time thing. I'm just worrying for no reason and will continue to get top grossing stones for regular Dokkan Fest banners in the future. But uh, I guess we'll have to see. All right, so that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on this video today as opposed to doing literally anything else with your time. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.